but I just suck works for the controller. I just, knowing how VR games work as well as I do, there was no way that you weren't going to have controllers because they make right. uh, games so much easier to design for. And yeah. they're so much easier to port as well. Um, I thought it was going to be some third-party manufacturer. There's actually another company that's been working on third-party uh, platform agnostic uh, hmm. uh, motion controllers, um, but uh, they haven't released their product. I mean, this was only slightly unsurprising to me, only because as long as I've had a MacBook, the one gaming controller that you could easily pair to your MacBook was a PS3 controller. And yeah, that's four after yeah that. sure. So I was like, well, it kind of makes sense. Maybe they have the similar well, like Bluetooth. You can even somewhere. buy a PS5 controller in the Apple Store, right? <clears throat> like in in stores and on their website. Yeah. So, so it kind of makes sense. But I also see why you know Apple didn't bother doing this because they were really focused on a new interface paradigm and not doing gaming. Yeah. And similar to how like, you know, what was uh Jobs famous line like if you're using a stylus you've already mm. failed, you know, meanwhile it was 3 4 years later they had the Apple pencil out, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Don't call it a stylus. Um, yeah. but it makes sense because you have to establish these paradigms first before you come in and sort of dilute them, right? And a controller dilutes the eye tracking pinching paradigm which yeah. is awesome i mean that is probably the top thing about the avp that i think is amazing all right 